welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be discussing this question which says uh, the force f is given as f is equal to x cos pt uh, plus y sine qs if t and s are the time and distance then find the, di the dimensions of uh, p over x and q over y so this is a very simple and straightforward question so before we can even start if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, click on the subscription button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting don't also forget to click on the notification button so that you, you can be notified every time i post any video all right so the question is straightforward so this force is a force that has been expressed in two components so this implies that if uh, for instance you express a force in two components you always say f is equal to uh, f uh, cos which is the x component x uh, um, uh, f uh, cos pt and then plus uh, f um, sine q s so this is a force that has been expressed in two uh, components so what this means is that uh, when you look at uh, this question that we've been given this one is in the format f is equal to x uh, cos uh, pt which is just the direction of that given force then we also have y sine uh, qs Okay, so when you look at f, this f corresponds to x, the same f corresponds to y. So what this is telling us is that both x and y have the dimensions of force. So let us find the dimension formula for force. So force we know to say is given by mass times acceleration. Then the mass uh, uh, in dimensional analysis, the mass is given by the capital letter M. Then the acceleration, we know that the formula for acceleration is, um, or rather the units for acceleration is meters per second squared, which tells us to say uh, on top there we have meters, which is the length, and then um, we have down there we have the, uh, the second squared, which is just the time squared, which can therefore be written as m l t to the power negative 2 so i'm going to write these as the uh, dimension formulas for x and y so m l t to the power negative 2 m l t to the power negative 2 so this is how simple it is okay sorry there is a problem with the laptop that's why you seeing that but i'll manage to solve it either way okay so um this is um, uh, yeah so we've managed to find the dimensions for um, x and y let us also find the dimensions for uh, p and uh, p and uh, q so the dimensions for p uh, p we have pt is equal to so we are going to assume that this is just a dimensionless uh, constant because we know that an angle is a dimensionless constant so if it's a dimensionless constant we can give it any letter let's say k or if not k I'll give it okay let me say k I'll give it k or I just put one it's just the same so I can put one or k it's just the same okay so I'm saying this uh, I'll, I'll write one there you can put it um, as one and then when we divide everything by t, everything by t, meaning the dimensions for p will therefore be uh, 1 over t. So the t here represents time, which is just going to be 1 over the time there. So the, the dimensions for p will be t to the power negative 1. Same applies to the dimensions for uh, q. We do, we do the same thing. So we've been given that s is the distance. Uh, so we're going to say q... Uh, qs is equal to uh, the dimensionless constant there which we are going to put we can put either one or k it's just the same so i'm going to put one there and then when i divide everything by s everything by s so the dimensions for q will become q is equal to 
uh, s is said to be a distance meaning it's the length so we'll say 1 over l which is just the same as l to the power negative 1 so if they ask us to find the dimensions for p over x this one is now simple and straightforward so we can say p uh, over x will now be equal to the dimensions for p are simply is simply just t to the power negative 1 so this would be t to the power negative 1 and then everything divided by the dimensions for x is m l t to the power negative 2 so we have m l t to the power negative 2 so when you do the simplification here discover that m will go on top hence it will have a minus 1 so m will be uh, to the power negative 1 l will be to the power negative 1 and then t will be t to the power negative 1 minus t to the power negative 2 so this will be the same as negative 1 plus 2 which will give me uh, t to the power uh, positive 1 what uh, did I do here so when I'm dividing two, uh, two uh, numbers or two indices with the same base the base here is t in this case when I'm dividing them it means that I'm going to subtract the powers so this was in each, so this is just the same as saying t to the power negative 1 this negative 1 here then minus and then I have a negative 2 down there so this is just the same as t to the power uh, negative 1 plus because negative times negative there will give us a positive so plus 2 so when you add this you get a positive 1 so this um, I mean these are the dimensions for p over x these are the dimensions for p over x let's now look at the dimensions for q over y so q over y will also do the same so q over y what is the dimension for q q is l to the power negative 1 and then the dimensions for uh, y we found to be ml t to the power negative 2 ml then we have t to the power negative 2 so here we do the same m will go on top meaning it will, ha it will have a negative 1 l l we have negative 1 on top and a positive 1 down there so we're subtracting the numerator uh, I mean the, we are subtracting the power so I have negative 1 minus negative uh, I mean minus uh, 1 down there so in short we have something like this we have L to the power negative 1 then since we are dividing that which has power 1 um, this tells us to say we are going to say minus this one down there so this will give us L to the power negative 2 so this would be L to the power negative 2 then T to the power negative 2 uh, T to the power negative 2 uh, when it goes up it's going to be T to the power positive 2 so these are the dimensions for Q over Y so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial if you have if you have any questions feel free to uh, contact uh, to feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification button there in order for you not to miss out the videos that I'll be posting my name is Hamted uh, Shalom Shalom